Hello, this is Dave Galberg, and this is my Module 4 Media Tech for Instructional Technology class. Um, first question was, why is it important for teachers to know about media compression and resolution and all that? Um, number one, if a student needs help with something you should be able to at least help him or know kind of what to what to do to help him um, you can always ask somebody else but if you know a little bit about it you're better off um, also you don't want all the if you've got students that are sending you files all the time you don't want a whole bunch of files and media stuff taking up a lot of room on your computer um, I knew a little bit about compression and resolution and all that from taking a camera class one time, so kind of familiar with some of that. Um, second question, was it, what was it like working with Prezi? I did not like it. Um, I had a really hard time with it. I could not get the web-based version to run so I had to search around and had to download a desktop version of it and used that and then I had to go from the desktop version back to the web version to be able to put it in the file format to publish it so that was really hard. I'm not a computer guy. I was pulling my hair out and it took me forever to get what I got done. Um, maybe after I use it for a little while, get a little bit more familiar with it, it would work out for me, but um, I just had a real hard time with it. So that's where I'm at with that one. Um, what was it like working with <clears throat> Screencast-O-Matic? I thought that was cool. I've always wondered, you know, when you watch a video on YouTube of how somebody's doing something on a computer and they got their little mouse going, you know. So I thought that was cool to learn how to do that. Um, definitely will use that in a classroom situation, especially teaching somebody or a class how to do something on a computer um, that, you know, that beats standing up on the board, you know, with a, you know, screenshot of your computer and, you know, keep going back and forth. So that I did like, and I, I definitely will use that. It was real simple and easy to use. Um, you know, the hardest thing for me was just finding what to show on a, you know, show somebody how to do on a computer. But you know, I used one of my favorites, Tagool or, you know, Word Art. So anyways, um, I thought that was really, really fun, real easy to use. Um, yeah, good, good learning process this week. So thanks for watching. Bye.